I'm gonna do it just like my my little what you call it? My little your little description. Yeah, post. that. Yeah. Hi, my beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, beautiful people. I am back, but I'm not back alone. No, 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 no. I brought a treat. I brought the one thing that bullies me all my life. Baby, say hi. You hear her laughing. That's her. That's the love of my life. <laughs> it's staying like that. I don't care. Are you ready to make hard choices? <gasps> yeah. It's, no. It's, yeah. You're gonna tell me this was decision making. Baby, please. It's starting. Episode one, a new day. You didn't read. <laughs> no, right, right. That's okay. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Which one, babe? Oh, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. <laughs> Not from me. Not from me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Look at that shotgun, though. This man's crazy. <clears throat> I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. <coughs> uh, what'd you think? What do you think? I'm just Wait, am I making I all the decisions? No, no, they I'm just letting trial, you get a taste of it. Even if you was innocent. A lot of what your your decision making is going to be like done. the hard ones. I'll, I'll do dialogue. I just want you to get used to making choices. What the heck? Any yeah. of that seem important to you? <laughs> Why but, would it not be the other way around? No, but if I don't agree, let, just hear me out. If I don't agree with the hard choice you make, I will choose opposite. I got a nephew okay. up at UGA. Okay. You teach okay. there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Can you see it well? You want to yeah. know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. He picked up on that. What does that mean? <laughs> Did I make him mad? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Fuck you. <laughs> That's me. That's me every time we argue. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama! It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Sounds like it wasn't him. I don't know. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing oh. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. 
This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. In the middle <laughs> of the time. Sir, are you all right? I'm still cut back here. I don't think he looks all right. <laughs> are you all right? Leave dead. Look at him. Uh. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I need to drag myself out that window. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Are you okay? <laughs> he died like someone in, in Family Guy's little legs. Zombie game, officer. I Holy shit! I was prepared for that one. What in the hell? Get away from me! Oh my god, this guy. Don't make me do this!
Hello? Anybody? What do you think so far, Milo? I'm confused. How did he turn into a zombie so fast? The, the officer. I don't know. Just know that when you die, you're dying, you're stuck. Anybody home? I need a little help. As right. a zombie. That's so sad. Alright, let's just break in. What do you say? Okay. I mean... Coming in. Don't <laughs> shoot, okay? Knock, knock. <laughs> Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. <laughs> or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Wow, so creative. Don't be mean. You have a little kid. Jeez. Oh, <gasps> Three new messages. Oh no. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us Come leave on. and aren't telling us anything about it. Okay, okay. Please, please, just I don't know leave about the city and take mom. Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's oh, no. 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh no. Daddy? <gasps> Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. No kidding. Give your name and let me explore. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh. That is a quiet ass song. There is no way he's stuck on us like that. Did you kill it? Yes. 
It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, Aww. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Your first major choice. I think... No, look for help before it gets dark. We need to find help That's before it gets dark. That's a smarter choice than zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. It's not safe at night. Why, why would you go out at night? That's so stupid. Mm. Let's go. Stay close. <gasps> oh! I realized. Child, wait for us. Please, when you were a child, did you wait for an adult? The controls are, are, are like, ugh. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Wow, we're well, so let's collected. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, that. okay? Look at her. I want to take care of her forever. Paternal instincts. I know. You find them attractive hey, man. man, don't you? Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn this place. Curse I haven't seen move. anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. Oh, How about you help us clear shy. the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here <laughs> and down to my family's an farm. It should be safe. <laughs> I'm not a, um, a neighbor. Damn it! Baby, sir. Her oh. parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. We best remember that. Yeah. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Ah, yes. Let the injured man push the car. I was about to say, what kind of super strength does he have to push with an injured leg? The little girl! <laughs> go, go, go! Throw her in the truck! As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. That was so fake.
Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been oh. quiet as usual the past couple this? days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. Yeah, that's so right. So it's Kiss just you and your ass. daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? Hmm, should I just be nice with him? It's yeah. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel knows your name. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where were you headed before the car? He <laughs> made a note of that. <laughs> I was getting out of the, car. <laughs> the news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. He just said on the road. Who are you with? The girl? Mm. Oh, say a police, a police officer. officer. You have to. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <gasps> he believes you. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family. I thought he was going to be like racist, <laughs> honestly. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem darling? Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <coughs> Your son's right. right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. I was going to say cut it off. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. He's so That'd funny. Well, wow. There's blankets and such in the barn. Eyes we'll be in the seeing back you bright and early. Yeah. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. At least we were honest with him, right? Ish. I feel like honesty would work it out better. It smells like... Um. Shit. <gasps> no! I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. Uh, that was a swear. You vulgar language. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, man. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm already emotional. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> We killed our wife. No. Mm -hmm. That's what it was.